Hey guys, I'm Nick Meister, and welcome back to Let's Play Hitman Absolution. And the next stage coming up is... Uh... Law... Skirky's Law. Oh, this one. Okay. It's an interesting little stage with a funny cutscene coming up. Oh, yeah. Ugh. So you saw him get up and walk What's that away guy doing? That fall. Oh, yeah. What? Like a oh. walking okay. dog and angel man. Sound like he was jacking off. Can you describe it? <laughs> <laughs> get out of here! You're wasting my time! Twenty people saw him, man. Not a single one can describe him apart from being bald with a tattoo on the back of his neck. You really think it's the hitman? Wow. That guy was okay, totally it's asleep. Too fair. I'm gonna get him. Detective. This was left at the front desk. Kid said give it to whoever's looking for man. The hitman? That cop in the left does not give a shit at all. He's just like, mm-hmm. Oh, what the fuck is this? It's another one of those shitty drawings. He's like, what the fuck is this shit? You know, where, where's the anatomy, huh? Where, where's the line width? Gulf of Mexico, huh? I didn't realize it was so rainy in the Gulf of Mexico. The location for the ransom exchange is set. Yes, sir. Blackwater Park. I've already assigned three teams for well, you. Everyone's yeah. going there. We get the girl. Make sure she's secure. I wonder if we'll be going there soon. And get our money back. Ransom is not in the agency budget this year. Uh, it was in the budget last year, but uh, they had to cut it because of the, the economy. Hope, South Dakota. Oh, okay. <laughs> to watch the myth die. South Dakota. Is that is that the proper pronunciation? I don't know. But anyway, yeah, that detective guy reminds me of Ludacris from the Max Payne movie. Not because he looks like Ludacris, but because he's like this hapless detective looking for a super killer, you know? Anyway. Ah. Ah, water. <clears throat> uh, welcome to the, the courthouse and hope. <clears throat> and we're here to uh, assassinate George Zimmerman. <laughs> Maybe I should cut that out. Nah. Oh, who's this guy? Kind of sounds like me <laughs> when I wake up in the morning. Next matter what of the order. fuck? Dexter Industries versus Kevin Zimmerman. Oh shit! Trespass. There's actually a Zimmerman in this game. <clears throat> oh, or maybe not. Your Honor, uh, clear your throat. The uh, prisoner had a uh, unfortunate accident in his cell this morning, and uh, he's on his way to the infirmary. Is that guy chewing tobacco in the goddamn in the the fucking court? <laughs> not looking good. I, he fell pretty hard. Yeah, all right, you fucking douchebag. You probably pushed him. Case dismissed. Well, I think I'm gonna mosey on down to the jail and check on the jailbird. All right, you're on. <laughs> what was that wanking sound he made? Anyway, a lot of people at my work like to chew tobacco. I don't know. You chew that stuff for too long, your tongue will rot out in your mouth. You look like a freak. Not guilty by reason of extraordinary circumstances. And this guy over here is pretty interesting. And speaking of interesting things, there's a couple ways to get through that door there with the glowing red uh, card reader thing. The UN. They're using the gnomes to enslave us. I'm not mad. I'm interested in freedom. State as the floor, Mr. Hawk. Uh-huh. not the state. Yeah, shut the fuck up. You will have your chance to spout foolishness at the appropriate time. State. Your Honor, the state has All right, well, that fucking guy's going to talk. Let's see here. Uh, how you doing? <laughs> All 
All right, first things first, we want to pick up something that, that we can throw if we need to. Throw things. Ugh. Dude, I think you have had enough soda, all right? There's a lot of sugar in that stuff. And I think you benefit by not drinking anymore. Excuse me. All right. Roll all our brains! Simmer down. Look, there's only a few minutes Charged with the destruction of 67 garden gnomes at Baldwin... <laughs> 67? Baldwin Jesus. ...and mind control distribution center, you mean? I'm fighting for all of us, don't you get it? Oh, well, this guy needs to meet up with, uh, Lynch there. Him and Lynch, they'd probably be doing a number on those garden gnomes. I'm not crazy. It was the fall of the Seventh Empire. That's when the UN made its plan. And the gnomes have eyes across the campus. They have ears. Those are the microphones. They transmit and send signals to the towers, the, the relays, the, the satellites, that they, they have infrared cerebral wave monitors inside that can make you do things. They make you move. <laughs> they make you think something you wouldn't normally think. Foil bounces the waves. I'm the only sane one here! <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Your Honor, if we can't get this lunatic into appropriate medical care... Let's just review the videotaped evidence, huh? The legitimacy of which the defense has not disputed... Oh, why get them psychiatric help when you can make money by throwing them in a prison? Alright. So, this thing over here is our key to getting inside the, the jail... The jail section of the courthouse. Fuck. Dinosaur, yeah. It's already... Come on, hurry the fuck up, alright? Got places to be... He's just gonna walk over here, and now we have. Now we're free to go over there. But first, let's 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 look at the video for a little bit. Uh... <laughs> There's his face right there. <laughs> oh, I bet they made an intern do that. Dressed him up all funny. There we go. So now that the TV is turned off. It's gonna take him a little while to put it back on because, uh, you know, like that, like that guy was saying, it's a dinosaur. It breaks easily. It's it's delicate. Hey, what's going on? So, uh, we want to head over here into the bathroom and and wait because uh, Mr. Timothy Hawk, I think his name is, is going to request he take a break in the little boys' room. Now, at this point, uh. My game actually freezes. You know, I've got, got a monster of a system, I'll tell you, but... There's something about this game that causes, uh... Causes the game to crash every once in a while. Must... Press, bleh, I think it has something to do with the, the lighting effects or something, but... I don't know. You're right, so... Right there it froze and I had to restart. Nice. It's one thing I really like about this game is the fact that I have to restart so many times to get a decent, you know, recording of the stage to show you guys. I love that part about this game. So, we have to wait in here because, uh, once Timothy Hawk enters the bathroom, the bathroom becomes, uh, becomes, uh, what's it called, um, it becomes a trespassing zone, and if Timothy Hawk sees you in there while you're trespassing, he'll make a big deal about it and run to the police. So we can't have that. There he is. And, uh... uh oh, what? He said he was going to go to the bathroom. What a liar. Come here, you. There we go. And we're going to drag him over here and stick him in there with a mop and bucket and uh, let's just take his clothes there we go nice looking snazzy <laughs> okay Keep your hands where I can see you know there's anything different about me uh speak to anyone or you know maybe maybe way. taller it's more muscular less hair no all right let's just get let's just get on with it I'm gonna face I did the I did the crime now I'm gonna do the time to I'm gonna take whatever the court Place gives me let's wrap this thing up a judge is given considerable latitude in sentencing cases such as this uh-huh Context is taken seriously. No, you sound very uh in all my years upon the bench, 
I don't believe I've ever sentenced a man to much more than the minimum sentence for the crimes in which this... What about the women? Have you sentenced the women to much more? Mm -hmm. case, however, I'm availing myself of the opportunity to hand down the maximum penalty. What? Two years confinement in a state penitentiary, minus time <coughs> served, and a fine of ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. To be served at Rapid City minimum unit. Ooh, Rapid City. Well, that's a nice place. We'll make the necessary arrangements and I hear the minimum the unit's pretty nice too. I hear they get cable you and tennis this. courts. Get a move on. Let's go. Court will now take a forty-five hmm. minute recess. All right. So you want to be really careful at this point because if you walk the wrong way, you will get shot at. I made that mistake the first time. I tried to go in the door to the right. And we gotta wait for this slow motherfucker to open up here. Thank you very much. And they just trust me just to walk here without any supervision at all. So, there we go. Alright, here we are at the holding cells. Hey, buddy, how's it going? You again? Mm hmm. Dumbass, I give up. When will you ever learn? This is the UN, motherfucker. Follow me. They're controlling your brain. No, I should just give you your own goddamn key. That's what I should Yeah, do. that'd be nice. <laughs> well, I <clears> just <throat> finally give you a real sentence. I've been telling you about this, you dumbass. You need to tuck in your One shirt. You're just gonna cross the line. Now you're gonna be stuck in a cell with some big dick. <laughs> but don't you worry about that. I almost feel sorry for you. Anyway, the place is locked down. Got some uh, disturbance going on. So, the good news for you is we got a nice cell away from the bad boys. For now. It's a goddamn Shangri-La compared to where you're going to be spending the next two years. Mrs. What? Hey, I heard Rapid City minimum unit's about pretty about nice. What in the hell's wrong with you? Can't you see I'm reading my daytime stories? He's talking to that guy? <laughs> daytime story, whatever. Keep your head down. Uh, oh, or was he talking to that guy? I'm confused. Alright, well, he's not going to do anything. He's just going to stand there with his fucking hands in his hips. So let's, let's look around first. Um, if you care about such things, there's evidence over here. There we go. Um, what else? <clears throat> oh, and here's some funny drawings. Hey, there's a kid with his tongue sticking out. Ew, there's poo. And a dancing skeleton. Huh. What about over here? Uh, not much else. Alright. So, that's just one way you can get uh, down there. But there's another way. You know, maybe some of you guys thought that uh, Timothy Hawk was treated unfairly. That, you know, maybe a patriot such as him. Really nice Someone who's it. really just trying to save us all from the tyranny of the UN and their mind control well, program right uh, just tell the truth should be released so he can continue his good work. I think it's so. Just, so we're going to change that. Uh, we're going to give the good judge a break. You know, let him, let him sleep off uh, his stuff. <clears throat> oh. Why not? What if I want to? Hiya! Hoya! There we go. And uh, I fucked up everything, so let's let's try that again. Okay, there we go. One thing I don't like about absolution um, is that you can't walk behind people after you've alerted them. You know, in uh, in Blood Money, um, you could definitely walk around behind someone <laughs> as they were sticking their hand out. You know sticking their hand out and doing that stop thing, but not an absolution. So, uh, I tried a few times to do this section without, uh, without, uh, you know, changing outfits, but I got pretty frustrated. And here these guys are talking about our, our exploits back in Welcome to Hope. The limb. <laughs> like throwing a match on a pile of dynamite. Uh huh. Shit, yeah. I heard it was a hell of a ruckus even for that shithole. I just thought it was another trucker versus biker thing. Am I wrong? Dead wrong, motherfucker. Yeah, that's what's so weird. No one really wants to talk about it, but 
The guys who've been looking into it, well, they say the ball guy kicked the living shit out of nearly everyone in the bar. <laughs> guy gets that crew? No fucking way. Hey, you know, that's what the grapevine's saying. Don't hang the hangman. <laughs> yeah, well, they do a lot of crystal meth and say stupid things now, don't they? Yeah, sure. Grapevine says a lot of things. But I'm not talking about the grapevine. I'm talking about the cops investigate. Come on, stupid. Use your brain. Only way one guy takes on a bar full of 50 bikers and truckers is with an automatic weapon. You know, from what I heard, this is just an old-fashioned barroom brawl. Come on, man, think about it. It's basically impossible for one guy to do that. I don't care if he's fucking 10 feet tall. Okay, so I want to throw something in this corner here because the only thing standing between us and justice is Hi. this guy. Go on, go see. I'm gonna free Timothy Hawk. I'll find out who the hell did that. No problem. There we go. And the best way to figure out who right, threw I'm something is to go to where the it. thing was thrown rather than where it was thrown from. Everyone knows that. <laughs> I'm gonna go up here and hey, try not to get cut on the razor wire. All right, there's a golf club. Sweet. I'm gonna do some putting. What is it with rich people and playing golf in their office? Is it because they don't have enough to do? You know, I'm an underling, a peon myself at my workplace. I, I kind of wish I could give my bosses busy work, you know? They're always giving us busy work. So, this guy here is obsessed with British stuff. Um, there is a bit of flavor dialogue talking about that. There is an old flag of the Union Jack. But it gets cut off. It's kind of annoying. I'm not going to bother going back and getting it. You guys can do that if you want to spend money on this game. Oh, the, the golf balls have physics. That's nice. And uh, I guess that's his judge diploma or something. I don't know. So, back there I messed with the TV again like I did in the first time. Um... Hi, how's it going? He's breathing down my neck, kind of creeping me out here. There we go. <clears throat> That's a sweet wig you got there. I'm just going to dump him in here. There you go. And I'm going to take his outfit. Get on my nerves. Nice. You know, this whole British thing? I mean, the powdered wig... But he's got us watching and yep she shut the fuck up because she saw him coming <laughs> not really it just cut off hey uh what are you talking about me lady young miss okay so now that we're uh we're all get up in a judge gear we can uh we can pass a different sentence one that um i think is more fair one that's in the interest of us all actually there we go. Okay. There he is. An American hero. Look at that patriotic shirt. Case dismissed. Uh huh. What? what? Oh, it looks like all these people aren't too happy about that. Order. Court adjourned. I guess they just don't understand what's at stake here. It's the freedom of everyone. Let's, let's go down and, and see what Timothy Hawk has to say. Any words of wisdom or hope? You just struck a mighty blow for freedom, Your Honor. But the UN will not take this defeat lying down. They're on to you now. Run while you still can. While your thoughts are still your own. <laughs> Well, thanks for the advice, buddy, but can't I just get a sweet hat like yours? You know, I think I want to make mine out of a, a pot. I think a colander is a little, uh... You know, I mean, maybe a colander is good in the summer, because there's, there's holes in it and you can breathe, but... It's getting cooler here in Boston, even though it's August, and I, I don't want to sweat too much. 
So uh, here's the evidence uh, room, I guess. Gonna pick up some tools. There we go. Nice. And uh, we'll just leave these other things here. I'm gonna pick up the ammo. Okay. I wonder if it's considered odd for the judge to walk around the... Uh... All right. So we need a key card. I'm gonna go pick that up. All right. Just gonna head on through here. I don't know why I didn't run at this point. It's kind of boring. I'm watching me trudge, trud down the place here. I'm gonna head in here. And as the judge, we can go pretty much anywhere we want, as far as I know. We just can't have any weapons out. There we go. And now that we have a key card. Huh. You know. I didn't realize this before, but, uh, I guess smoking's still allowed, uh, inside in South, in Hope, South Dakota. Oh, they really are behind the times, huh? You got the cougar game from living in the 1950s, you got people smoking inside a courthouse. It's insanity. Alright, let's go through here. And, uh, I'm just gonna pick this lock here. <sighs> okay. Here we are again in the holding cells. I'm gonna get a little different dialogue. Hey, you're on. hey how's it going? Right, you ready for the inspection? Well, come on, follow me. Well, Jesus, I heard you let that old tin head go. That's going to piss off a lot of people. Yeah, a lot of people in the U.N. Speaking like an adult, huh? Yeah, that's all right. We're both men. We can talk like men. All right, so I'm going to take a slightly different detour, and I think we're going to see something interesting. Hmm, is there anything interesting in here? No, no. Oh, there's another guy in here smoking. Jesus Christ. All right, let's head through here. Is there anything interesting in here? Hmm? What? Years. Oh God! Today is my last chance. Is that who I think it is? This afternoon, I will pay for my mistakes with my life. No. It's only fair. No, no, it's not fair. As you know, oh. if you've read the papers, my life is a mercenary, and all the pain I've caused. Most of it is true. Oh, Cain. I should regret it all. I should be scared of dying. But I'm not. I can't anymore. The only feeling I have left is regret. Regret that I'll never get to know you. You're all that matters. Sorry, I've never understood it. Your father, Cain. So, I think that's the monologue uh, Cain gives in the first game when he's about to be executed for his crimes. Doesn't really make a lot of sense here, since he's in a courthouse. I don't think they execute people in courthouses, right? I think you have to go to prison for that? I think. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, it looks like Lynch is still at large there. Although he doesn't have... Oh. Hmm. Uh, Alright, so... Now, boys. Hey, this first section here is pretty hard to sneak through. At least I think it's hard to sneak through. So I'm going to kill everyone here. I hope you don't mind that. Now you know my I don't know what this guy did to piss off the sheriff, but it's a good thing we're here to save him. <clears throat> oh, it's that shoe salesman. <laughs> what are you doing in South Dakota, buddy? Kind of a long way from Chicago, huh? Oh, okay. Uh, thanks for that, I guess. Thanks, uh, get knocked out, motherfucker! Yeah! Yeah, that felt good. And, uh, that, that slapping of the dummy arm, uh, sent this guy running here. Ah, oh, god, I'm such a shitty shot. Alright, time to bring out the big boys. <clears throat> die! Die! Yeah! That was pretty sweet, huh? I knew these things would come in handy. 
he's dead too. Where is that motherfucker? Come on out. There you are. Yeah. Sweet. All clear, buddy. <clears throat> so this area right here is pretty hard to sneak through in my opinion. I'll, I always seem to get caught. Also, um, it seems like a lot of the guards in here are bugged. Like, even though... And this is the safety is combination to. Even though you use the, uh, the instinct mode, um, guards can still detect you. So here's an assault rifle instead, but I think my shooting in the stage is over, so I don't really have much use for it. Oh well. <clears throat> right, so some of the guards in that last section were bugged, and the instinct doesn't work the way it should. Like, as soon as you come out of instinct, they, they immediately detect you, which is kind of fucked up. You know what this guy's doing? I think he's trying to teach his grandma to use a CD player or something. Okay, so this jail cell's seen this jail place seen better days. Kind of looks like things are falling apart. Kind of makes you wonder if uh, the courthouse is in, in danger of collapsing down into the basement here. There's kind of fight going on. Hold on a second. What? Is it the arms VIP guy? Is that who that is? Huh. <laughs> oh, they threw him in jail for parking on Main Street. Typical out of town or city slicker Nancy boy. Not really. It's not really a good name. It's kind of a stupid name. So, uh, if you go straight through, there's a, there's a lock that you have to shoot off. And that makes noise. Um, the thing about getting to a firefight in this section is that I think there's an infinite wave of, uh, backup forces that come in. Which makes shooting a way out kind of a no-no. I'm just gonna pick this lock here. There we go. And here we are. One more lock to pick, and we're home free. There we go. What's on the other side, I wonder? I remember when I was your age. Wow, those <laughs> boobs are huge. I didn't know. What the fuck? Really? You got snuck up on a second time? Come on. Come on. What the fuck? Ho ho ho, down for the count. <laughs> hey, yeah, Dexter. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, just some bald fuck. What? Told you I'm a professional. <laughs> yeah, he's sleeping like a baby. What the fuck? Well, shit, we got a taste of our own medicine, that one. I guess 47 had that coming, considering all the people he electrocuted. Alright, so, uh, Skirky's Law, not the best level, but well, I guess kind of an interesting stage. Um, hmm. Well, there's not much here to talk about, so I'll just leave you guys with, uh, with absolutely nothing.